Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are in front of you to present our presentation on fingerprint-based door access system using Arduino, guided by Dr. DPS Dibrasar. Um, <coughs> so here, uh, Rahul, next slide, please. Amlan, apne apko unmute karo, please. Sorry, sir, wo mute. <coughs> so, uh, next, uh, Rahul, in introduction slide, please. Uh, so, security has always been a uh, matter of concern for every individual uh, for uh, protecting their valuable things in a uh, home or uh, in workplace, uh, so to keep the uh, to keep safeguard of this of their valuables, um, we have uh, uh, we have uh, introduced uh, we introduced our project uh, fingerprint based door lock system, uh, and nowadays, as you can see, biometrics is one of the most used uh, uh, security system. Uh, Rahul, next slide, please. Uh, so you can see the project uh, description here. Um, the door, uh, the door uh, will have the fingerprint scanner with the hook attached to it, and uh, a camera above the just above the fingerprint scanner to get the photos of everyone accessing the fingerprint. So, uh, yeah, as you can see the mobile is uh, the connection to the mobile is uh, shown here like uh, the picture the picture taken by the uh, camera will be sent to the uh, mobile automatically after uh, the access the uh, after someone tries to access it Rahul, next slide please <coughs> why the need of for Locking and uh, why the need of uh, fingerprint in locking and unlocking the door. Uh, so, uh, firstly, uh, it provides entry to only the authorized person, as um, if you are authorized uh, to enter the lock uh, the door, then uh, you will you then you will be able to get in uh, get inside after accessing the fingerprint <clears throat> so, uh, no problems related to the keys uh, as you don't have to worry about keys uh, to uh, keep it uh, with you every time and uh, keeping track of people and yeah, um, there, there's the database that keeps the uh, record of people who have tried to access the uh, lock yeah. your use of duplicate keys is not possible uh, yeah it is uh, it is the uh, most important thing most important point as you can see as uh, duplicacy of keys is uh, very much possible uh, possible these days but uh, if you use our fingerprint uh, based door lock system yeah, there is um, no way of duplicating the keys, and single single person can lock and unlock door in single sided lock. And this means that um, if one person has uh, locked the door, and the other person don't need to uh, lock and uh, uh, unlock the door uh, once again. Yeah. Next slide, please. The features of our project is it gives authorization to the concerned people. It maintains the list of uh, person passing through the door. It reports to the owner of any unmatched fingerprint. Uh, like if um, some thief or some other person who whose uh, fingerprint is not 
in the database uh, tries to access it, uh, then it will automatically report to the owner to SMS and it stores it and it also stores unmatched fingerprint after a limit which is uh, three times. Next, Rahul, next slide, please. Uh, yeah, Malavika will continue from here. Malavika? Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, these are the required hardware. Uh, Rahul, next slide, please. So we are using general door hook because it is uh, low, low cost and it fits in any kind of door. So we are using general door hook lock. Rahul, next slide. Oh, Arduino, you know, uh, we are using our Arduino because Arduino is a microcontroller and they are, um, uh, it has uh, 14 uh, digital input and six um, uh, analog analog input. And uh, in Arduino, there are four way to uh, power up, power up. First is using um, USB cable, second is adapter, and third, uh, five volt input, and fourth is using batteries. Rahul, next slide, please. Uh, micro servo motor and we are using micro servo um, servo motor um, because it, it it helps to door lock and unlock means um, the scan fingerprint if matched with the uh, fingerprint stored in the system then it automatically unlock unlock the door next uh, next slide rahul next fingerprint scanner uh, it is used to scan our fingerprint and rahul next slide Breadboard with jumper wire, it is uh, connect all the device with its other. That's why we're using this. And GSM module, GSM module is used for uh, sending messages. And uh, if unauthorized person uh, tries to access the door, then a message uh, will be uh, uh, sending to the owner that someone tries to access the door. So we are using GSM module. And Next, LCD screen. LCD screen is used to display uh, mess, messages like uh, if uh, fingerprint is met, that then um, welcome, and if it not met, then not approve like this. Next slide. Adapter. Yeah, adapter is used for power supply, and uh, we are using adapter because uh, our project is uh, is not moving, so uh, <coughs> we cannot use batteries. Next slide. Camera. Camera is used for uh, capture images, and uh, it's to and data is stored in the uh, system. Next slide, please. Rahul. So, sir, this is our cost. Total cost. Hardware cost. Rahul. Rahul, you continue. So. Uh... So the device which we, we have made will be programmed using this software known as Arduino IDE, and we and we will use different libraries uh, for uh, for the programming and the language used will be C. So different libraries such as the finger to uh, store the fingerprint, we will use different libraries uh, for sending messages uh, through GSM module. We'll use different libraries. So. Uh, this is the way we'll use uh, the Arduino IDE and its relevant libraries. So this is the flowchart uh, of the. Uh, so this is the flowchart of the system. So the, the flow starts from uh, scanning the fingerprint when we uh, put the finger on the scanner, and it will search the fingerprint in the system. And if it find if it finds the uh, uh, matching, then it will store information like a, like the fingerprint ID and time and date, and then it will start the servo motor, which is connected to the uh, door hook. So, and then it will display a welcome message. If it uh, if it does not find that, it will check if, it, and then it will give three chances for verification. Even after that, if it does not match, then it will store the unrecognized fingerprint, and then take a photograph of the unrecognized person and send a message to the uh, mobile of the owner through the GSM module, and then display the, uh, display the, uh, the Unauthorized person and, uh, is trying to access. This is a block diagram of the system, which includes different output and inputs to the Arduino 
you know the Arduino you know have uh, the inputs like the uh, power supply uh, and the fingerprint uh, scanner and gives output to different devices like LCD display, uh, uh, servo motor, GSM module, and also uh, gives me a command to click a photo. This will be the probable uh, circuit diagram. So future work, in future work, we have kept the uh, password by keypad, uh, password by keypad. So uh, we always need an alternative uh, we always need an alter alternative for the fingerprint scanner because it might get damaged sometimes. So, uh, so it password by keypad might ha will help here and facial recognition, which is a uh, part of the AI, uh, is also kept as a future work. Uh, so we, we will uh, trying to implement in the future. So these points are uh, covered in our presentations uh, for different hardware and software. Uh, we have projected a circuit diagram, a rough calculation of the cost, and given a vision of the project and future work. Thank you, sir. Manoj sir, Dibu sir, kuch puchna hai? No, no question. So three thousand. It's around four thousand, three thousand nine hundred ninety. Uh, no, we have uh, done the uh, minimize costing and then put uh, put it uh, three thousand nine hundred ninety. The the devices price are this much only. Uh, 